guys, welcome to Home Sweet Homeschool. If you're new here, my name is Ashley and I'm a homeschooling mom to one. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you a flip through of the new Campfire Curriculums unit through the eyes of a veterinarian. This is gonna be an amazing unit if you have a child who loves animals or wants to become a vet themselves, or you just want to expose your child to something like this, this is going to be an amazing unit for them. I can't wait to take you through these pages. I've looked through it and have gotten super excited about it. If you've never checked out Campfire Curriculums before, I'll have their website linked in the description box. So you can go check out all their other units and see what they have to offer. These units are extracurricular. Campfire does not claim to be a core curriculum, but they are amazing. They're amazing units. Definitely check them out. They have membership options, and they also have the options to just purchase things individually. They come as a PDF for you to print at home or have printed somewhere. They're amazing. I also have some other videos about Campfire on my channel, so you can check those out too. Another thing is down in the description box, I'm going to have a list of things from Amazon that I'm purchasing to use along with this unit when we finally get to it this year. It's on our list of things we want to do. So if you want to see the things we're purchasing for this unit to go along with it, definitely check out the Amazon links I have. They are affiliate links, so I do receive just a small commission from them if you purchase through my link. Don't feel like you have to, but it can give you an idea of some of the things that we're going to buy to go with this. So... Here we go, through the eyes of a veterinarian. Now this is the adult journal. When you purchase these, you're gonna get all the levels. You can look through and decide which ones you wanna place your children in, and you can print those for your kids and for yourself. I'm just gonna show you this one today because this includes everything. Do not skip this page. This is a note about how things work. It will tell you how you can use the curriculum, but I want you to keep in mind, it's your homeschool and you use this to work for your family. However it works best for you is what works best. But here's an idea if you do not know where to begin with Campfire. I do wanna apologize up front for the first couple of pages. My printer ran out of ink. So you're gonna see some wonky ink to begin with and then you'll get to see their beautiful artwork. Here you have optional items needed that you might not already have on hand. So it does go through each of the lessons that need some extra supplies. And this is where the links in the description box come from are some things off of here that we didn't have at home. You do have sources. They always list where they get their information from, some places that you can check out. Then they have this page for those who prefer to print their units and therefore cannot click the links without a hassle. This is a quick reference to make clicking simpler and it's done by lesson. I definitely appreciate that. Make sure you read this sheet. It does say important. It talks about how they did have to narrow down the amount of animals that they talked about. It talks about how your students will use knowledge from a former lesson to hypothesize along with um, the veterinarian in each new lesson. I think you're really going to like this. Here's your table of contents. There are 12 lessons and then there's a bonus lesson in the appendix. So maybe 13 days of lessons if you're planning like that. So here's lesson one. Um, you're going to read the stuff in black out loud to your children. The extra boxes you could read over and if you want to share that information with your kids you certainly can. So this is just an introduction to the career itself. So you're going to guess the specialty. And then it's going to talk to you about the vet journal. I'll show you that when we get to the appendix, and I'll tell you what we're going to do for that. But this is for your vet journal, and when your child sees something like this, they're going to know it's time for them to stop and write in their vet journal. Here's the stopping point. It says don't forget to check the appendix for core connections, and we'll talk about that as well when we get there. Here's lesson two, so you've got equine medicine, so you're learning about a horse, and here's that journal time where you pause and your kids write in their animal journal. The great thing about this unit and about most of their units is they are a Charlotte Mason approach. They go through a living book format, so you're following a story of these two children who are getting to work alongside a vet. It's amazing. If you don't know a lot about living books, I know that Campfire Curriculums has posted about what those are in their Facebook group called Campfire Crew. Be sure to join that and you can see what living books are. But it's written in a story format. 
Here's another journal time, and then this is an activity pause where you're gonna learn how to use a stethoscope. Another journal time, and this is just where you're documenting what the owner of the animal say, what are the animal symptoms, things like that. And I do notice a lot of bold words. They're gonna learn some really good terminology along with this. Here's journal, journal time, stop and add the new symptom to your journal. Here's another activity option. And then you have your think tanks and your faith talks. And that just gives you some Bible time. And I really appreciate their faith talks. And then you have a stopping point. When I read the stopping points, to me it always just kind of summarizes what you've learned in this lesson and then what you're going to learn the next day. I appreciate their stopping points as well. Don't forget to look at the lessons learned. It shows you everything that you covered in that lesson. And then here's a place where if you want to write some extra notes, you can. Lesson three is on cats and dogs. So here's like a bold, like general practitioner. You have journal time again, an optional activity. This is checking the range of motion. More journal time. Here is a skip if you want page. It does talk about that in the notes. I personally love the skip if you want pages because they are packed full of information. So if you have the time and your kids want to know more, I think these skip if you want pages are wonderful. But again, you can skip them if you want to. Lesson four is just general practice. Again, you've got your bold words, optional activities. And you'll see all the places you need to stop and journal. And again, at the end, you're going to find your think tanks and your faith talks. Lesson five is general practice part two. So you're talking about x-rays. I love this picture of this little corgi here with the x-ray. And optional activities, learn how to take down an IV catheter in a dog. And as you can see, the end of each lesson looks the same. Lesson six, you're doing equine medicine part two. They have some really neat activity options. After I read, read all three of them, I'm like, oh, they all sound really fun, but you can pick one, three, or none, whatever you wanna do. And then you can actually view um, a horse having surgery if you can handle things like that. And then you've got like post-surgery and fun facts. Places for extra notes. Lesson seven is all about the goat. So see, you know, we've gotten into the pretty artwork now, my printer. I changed the ink and it looks a lot better. So now you're doing a lesson about goats, sulfur, and vitamin B1. You do have some activities, a couple of activities here. Lesson eight is the behind the scenes, the lab work, like what's going on in the lab, not actually in the vet room, you know, when you're standing there in the examination room. This is what's happening in the lab. Some things you would think about, questions you may be asking in your head. There are some great activities here. This talks about parasites. Lesson nine is about weight loss. This is about a horse that won't eat. What I really appreciate about it is how it really takes your child through the steps of how to listen to what the owner is saying about the animal, to listen to the symptoms, to listen to the history. Um, questions that you should ask. It's really getting your kids to think, what would you ask next? What do you think's going on? It takes them through the whole setup, and I love that. A lot of activities in this one, too. And then there's a skip if you want page with some interesting info. Lesson 10 is exotic animals. So this is about the capuchin monkey, I do believe. Learning how to suture. Lesson 11 is Exotic Animals Part 2. You learn about shock. And can we just stop for a minute and look at how cute that llama is? Like, I would love to have this llama on a canvas. She's adorable, or he, whichever one it is. This is llama time. Lesson 12 is called The Llama and the Sheep. Do have some activities. You get back to the story. Um, here's another activity option. 
and then it talks about being a vet. And now we're back to the appendix. So in the appendix, you're gonna have your bonus lesson. So we'll probably go ahead and do this one too because it looks a lot of fun also. Then you have, I really appreciate this, the profession connection. This lets your child know what's kind of going to be expected of them to get into veterinarian school. So it talks about um, communication is key. So the language arts focus and the core connections is really important. It talks about how there are not a lot of vet schools, so it's not easy to get in. They're gonna look at these things like volunteer hours in animal hospitals, a major in animal science, well-rounded activities, good grades, and a focus in chemistry and math. Just some different things for your children to be thinking about if they're headed in this direction. This is your learning style page, so you can definitely look at that. There is an optional book list. Um, I always recommend just pulling books you already have at home about animals or going to the library and seeing what they have, fiction and nonfiction wise. They're both great for things like this. Check out YouTube. There are tons of people on there reading books. Um, so definitely check that out. And if you haven't checked out Epic, that's something I used when I taught kindergarten. Epic has so many books. You do have to pay for the subscription, but it has an app and there just be a ton of books at your fingertips without you having to go and purchase books or go to the library. So here's a book list if you want some ideas. And then here are the core connections. So what I do is I always put a tab on the day, of the, whatever day we're on, on Core Connections. That way I'm not flipping through all the pages to get to the back. And as we do that Core Connection, I'll move the tab to the next day so we'll be ready. You could put it with the day if you wanted to. You can use it however you want to. But the point is to do the lesson and then you can use these. You do not have to. But this year we're using Campfire on its own. We normally pair it with a Gather Round unit, but this year we're gonna focus on a Gather Round unit on its own and then a Campfire unit on its own. So I appreciate these core connections so that we can get in some history, some language arts and other things like that. So there is math, a little bit of spelling, Here's your history, geography, and social studies, and your language arts. And you guys, this is good. I was reading through this last night, and I love this. It's all about communication, how to communicate well with other people, how to take complicated words. You know how complicated the medical field is. Take it and make it understandable as if you were talking to your neighbor who didn't have the background. So it's amazing. And then your history. Here's more history, geography, and social studies. You're going to be talking about Napoleon. So this talks about with language arts, highlighting the hard words that need to be eliminated in order to communicate to a neighbor or a friend. Underline the easier words or simplified phrases. And this just keeps going. You have a core connection for each lesson except for lesson 12 and 13. So you've got plenty of stuff built in here to just really make all the connections for your kids to, to let your children see that language arts is used in this career and that math is used in this career and why they need to know it. These are amazing. That's why I love unit studies. So those are all the core connections and let lesson 12 says take a break. Now in the back there is an optional vet journal and yes it's it's printed sideways. So if I were you and I was going to print this for my children, I would probably make this as a separate book so that they could have the vet journal out alongside of their journal. Because if they're taking notes and they're writing down symptoms or information, they may need to know how to spell things and they don't need to be flipping back and forth from the front of the book to the appendix. So I would take this out and make it a completely separate journal or you could use um, a spiral notebook, whatever works for you. I actually went to Canva and made my son just a one page um, paper that he can fill out with different boxes that are labeled so he can put all the information in there. But they do supply this vet journal, but I would recommend pulling it aside, don't bind it all together. That way your kids can have it alongside their journal so they can look at the spelling and things like that. So that is in the back and you can print that for each of your children. It has the questions. And then one of the other things I printed, like when I put my units together, I like to have a folder in case there's other things I wanna show my son. There is a um, link in this unit, it talks about 
canine dental charts. And so I did print this so we would have something to look at on the day that we did that lesson. So any extra printables and things, I like to throw in a folder in the back so that I have that. So this is the newest unit. I um, definitely want you to go check out Campfire Curriculums on the internet because they're amazing. Their website's great. We have done so many of their units and we have learned so much. I also want you to check out Campfire Crew over on Facebook. They do have one membership question, so be sure to answer it so that you can get approved. But on that Facebook group, you are going to see all the wonderful things that other families are doing. You can ask questions. You can be a part of the process of voting for the next units that are coming out. It's amazing. If you have any questions about Campfire, make sure you leave them down in the comments below. They also have a YouTube channel you can check out. I'll leave that link below also. Don't forget to check out those Amazon links so you can find things like the stethoscope and other fun activities to use along with this unit. And as always, thank you so much for watching.